Hello, I'm Sofia Fadidou, a PhD candidate at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki in Greece. Today, we will pr be presenting a late-breaking work conducted in collaboration with researchers from Nokia Bell Labs in the UK. Together, we set out to explore the state of fairness in the mobile late CI community. To achieve that, we carefully defined a search query that would allow us to retrieve the right subset of papers from the past five years of mobile late CI proceedings. Specifically, we were interested in papers dealing with mobile or wearable technologies that incorporated elements of machine learning in their work and, of course, the discussed notions of bias and fairness within their full text. We initially retrieved 245 papers, 90 of which within the past five years. Given a set of predefined exclusion criteria, 14 papers were included for further analysis in this survey. Our results showcased that trace and employment were the least reported attributes when describing user samples. At the same time, while the analyzed samples were mostly gender and country balanced, they did remain Western, educated, industrialized, rich, and democratic, aka weird to some extent, since mobile HCI samples were predominantly consisting of highly educated and employed subjects. In those few papers that did report fairness analysis, we encountered biases in terms of diverse protected attributes. Specifically, we saw authors reporting that workers or annotators' responses were less accurate with data of participants wearing spectacles and eye makeup, which could be considered a proxy for gender. Other authors were reporting that the mean absolute error for healthy participants was lower than that of, of patients with asthma and COPD. Even in interaction studies, in some cases, the length of the thumb was the most influential feature from the whole set. I want to point out here that only 15% of all retrieved mobile HCI papers, which accounts to 5% of all mobile HCI papers published in the past five years, adhere to fairness reporting. To this end, we have a certain number of recommendations to adhere by, to fairness by design principles. Specifically, we suggest that authors integrate fairness metrics and bias mitigation strategies into the research workflows. There are multiple out-of-the-box libraries and APIs that could be used, and please, please consult our full paper for more details. At the same time, authors can recruit diverse participants and annotators if their budget allows to. Similarly, they should validate data across protected attributes to detect anomalies and discrepancies with visualization tools. Similarly, please refer to our full paper for links and references. Finally, as a community, we need to implement a mandatory data and bias statement policy, requiring authors to report protected attributes and bias analysis for diverse participant samples. Thank you for your attention. If you are interested for the full article, please scan the QR code on the bottom left.